A military attack on Ukraine stunned the entire aviation world. The proud symbol of human engineering, the N-225, Maria, lying amid the ruins like a burnt-out giant. The largest aircraft ever built by mankind, carrying the dreams and pride of an entire nation, seemed to have vanished forever in the smoke and flames of war. But no, Miria, meaning dream in Ukrainian, is not dead. It is awakening. A historic icon is preparing to take flight once again. Why is the world so determined to revive this legendary aircraft, and how could it change entire aviation? Let's deep dive in. The revolution in aviation found its most vivid embodiment in the Antonov N-225, Maria, a giant aircraft born from the center of a turbulent era. Amid the intense Cold War, when the world held its breath, watching the fierce rivalry between two superpowers, Soviet engineers were handed a near-impossible task to build an aircraft unlike anything the world had ever seen. In the late 1970s, the United States launched its space shuttle program, a reusable marvel that stunned the world. Unwilling to be left behind, the Soviet Union initiated its own Buran shuttle project, but transporting the massive components of the shuttle to secret facilities scattered across its vast territory required something extraordinary, something far more powerful than anything that had existed. Thus, a dream was born named Maria, meaning dream, in Ukrainian. In 1984, the Antonov Design Bureau was entrusted with a historic mission to create the largest transport aircraft humankind had ever known. And the result was the An-225, a mechanical miracle that surpassed every conventional standard in size, payload capacity, and engineering vision. When the Maria took off for the first time on December 21st, 1988. It was a moment of glory. Thousands of people flocked to the airfield, eyes skyward, witnessing a colossus defy gravity and soar into the heavens. That sight did more than etch itself into memory. It stirred the hearts of engineers, pilots, and aviation enthusiasts around the globe. More than a transporter for the Buran, the An-225 quickly became a symbol of technical prowess, cultural pride, and political will. It stood as a powerful declaration from the Soviet Union to the world that they could craft engineering marvels to rival and even surpass the West. For the engineers who built it, this was not just an aircraft. It was the embodiment of intellect, ambition, and a burning sense of national pride. No one expected that the original goal, to design a plane to carry a space shuttle, would result in a technological marvel that far surpassed the boundaries of its time. The and 225 Maria was not just a means of transport, it became a symbol of engineering power and visionary ambition. Wait up, thanks for sticking around until the end. Show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. The engineers at Antonov were handed a seemingly impossible challenge, how to lift over 250 tons, an amount no aircraft had ever carried. But they made the impossible possible, and that became the Maria's first astonishing hallmark. To achieve this, they had to craft an entirely new airframe, one that was lightweight yet immensely strong, capable of withstanding extraordinary stress. The aircraft's fuselage was not only wide enough to accommodate oversized cargo, but was also fitted with external mounting points to carry the Buran Space Shuttle, an incredible feat in aerospace logistics. Another remarkable feature of the An-225 was its 6Z MKB Progress D-18T turbofan engines, each producing over 51,000 pounds of thrust, providing enormous lifting power while maintaining flight stability. Its landing gear system with 32 wheels distributed the aircraft's massive weight evenly across various types of runways. With a wingspan of 88.4 meters, the widest of any operational aircraft, and twin vertical stabilizers at the rear, the aircraft was aerodynamically optimized to remain stable even when carrying cargo externally. But Mariah's destiny took an unexpected turn. After the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, the Buran program was cancelled, and the An-225, suddenly without a mission, was grounded at Hostomel Airport seemingly reduced to a Cold War relic. Then, in the mid-1990s, a new turning point emerged, the need to transport oversized industrial cargo. 
As global supply chains expanded, so did the need for heavy lift capability, and no aircraft but this huge aircraft could fulfill it. Its unique design allowed it to carry cargo both inside the hold and mounted externally, a versatility no other aircraft could match. Thus, the dream, true to its name, Maria, was awakened once again. The An-225 re-emerged as a vital player in the global air cargo industry, with a cargo bay 43 meters long, 6.4 meters wide, and 4.4 meters high, it could transport everything from power turbines and locomotives to massive sections of oil rigs. And the An-225 proves that if you give it a chance, it will leave the world in awe. More than just a giant machine, it embodies the pinnacle of engineering and the belief that no limit is truly unbreakable. After being resurrected from years of abandonment, this aircraft swiftly reclaimed its place, not only as the greatest heavy lift cargo aircraft ever built, but also as a record-shattering legend in the skies. In 2001, just months after returning to service, it stunned the world by transporting a 187.6-ton generator to a power plant in Germany, the heaviest single piece of air cargo ever flown at the time. And in 2004, it smashed another record, carrying 247 tons of cargo in a single flight. But what makes the Miria truly extraordinary isn't just its mechanical strength, but its role when humanity needed it most. During the devastating Haiti earthquake in 2010, as millions struggled in chaos, it was this huge aircraft that delivered massive quantities of aid, medical supplies, food, and tents, all in a single mission. With its unmatched range, weather resilience, and colossal lift capacity, it became the aircraft of hope amid disaster. Its heroic role continued during the COVID-19 pandemic. When the world was in turmoil, it still worked hard, flying over 1,000 cubic meters of medical supplies, millions of masks, protective gear, and ventilators from China to Europe in critical moments. At a time when borders were shut and time was running out, this flying giant became a lifeline soaring across continents with a cargo of survival. It began as a commercial cargo plane, evolved into a global symbol of resilience and humanity. It's not just a machine. It's a testament to human compassion in the toughest of times. Throughout the 2000s, this aircraft played a crucial role in the global logistics network. Its size, range, and payload made it peerless. Massive industrial equipment, too large for ships or trucks, could only be moved by this aircraft. From wind turbine blades and generators to oil drilling equipment and aircraft fuselages, it enabled industries to reach places no other carrier could. Despite its towering frame, the AN-225 was never a burden. On the contrary, it was the ultimate solution for the impossible. It showed us that no matter how big the challenge is, with clear vision and determination, we can overcome it and reach the top. Antonov engineers are boldly reinventing the legendary AN-225, integrating advanced technologies, but this journey faces immense challenges. The original design documents are scarce, lost over time, or locked in outdated Soviet archives. Manufacturing processes for Maria's parts ceased decades ago, equipment was dismantled, and many original materials are unavailable engineers must reverse engineer the remaining components to recreate the entire design from scratch. Adding to the difficulty, the fuselage, key to the aircraft's massive cargo capacity and structural strength, was heavily damaged during the Hostomel airport attack. Rebuilding it demands exceptional time and precision to withstand enormous loads both inside and externally. Moreover, the six ZMKB Progress D-18T engines, once state-of-the-art with over 51,000 pounds of thrust each, are now outdated compared to modern jet engines. Finding replacements and upgrading propulsion technology remains one of the greatest technical challenges, testing Antonov's innovation and resolve as they strive to revive this iconic giant. Despite the obstacles, Antonov engineers are working tirelessly, and every Ukrainian believes their legendary aircraft will soon soar again. What do you think about the chances of this giant's revival? Share your thoughts with us. Thank you, and see you next time.